Very chilly to start though, but then as we get into this afternoon, it is finally going to start to warm up a little bit, but still a cold start. So layers, that's the best idea. You can grab the big winter coats and then just make sure you have a t-shirt jeans on and you should be good to go for the afternoon today because we should be getting back into some nice 70s. It's 28 degrees. It's still below freezing in Palmdale. We still have a little bit of wind out there too. And so it's just feeling quite chilly if you're in that area of the high desert. Downtown LA also cold. It's about 51 degrees, slightly warmer than yesterday though. All right, so you can see on that live mega Doppler 7018, nothing like, happening subscribe. for us here. We don't have any watches, warnings in place for our region. But then we pan out, and this is what we are waiting for. We have plenty of watches and warnings. That's into areas in Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. This is the bomb cyclone that we've been talking about for several days now, beginning to really impact areas of not only the Pacific Northwest, but also Northern California. Some of that rain, those really gusty, damaging winds already moving into some areas. Uh, and we do have a very high risk of some very dangerous flash flooding, too. Eventually, it's going to make its way south. We won't be getting as serious of impacts, but we're going to talk about the rain that we could see here by the weekend as a result of it in just a bit less. I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brian. Very rare uh, highest level of warnings, too, due to flash flooding and life-threatening flash flooding that we're talking about. Damaging winds. We have plenty of schools that are out for the day as well in the areas of Washington. So the Pacific Northwest really getting hit hard. We're now seeing it move into areas in Northern California too. And yes, we've already had plenty of reports of damage, power outages as well. And uh, it's going to be a dangerous few days up there because that system is just going to stall and continue to dump a ton of rain, a month's worth, maybe even more for some isolated areas because we're talking about up to about 10 inches of rain for some of these areas that typically get a lot of rain, but we could get anywhere from up to about 16 inches. So this is going to be a very difficult few days to get through. I'll get some more on that in just a moment. Uh, very cold outside once again. Pressure system that's right off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. We have two cyclones that are going to make its way in and continue to bring a lot of energy to this area. It's also going to be tapping in to this subtropical jet, and that's the atmospheric river component that's really going to help dump even more rain on it. So we've been talking about the term of the bomb cyclone, and basically what it is is we're talking about the amount of pressure it's dropping in such a short amount of time, and that's allowing all that energy to be delivered, and that's why it's so powerful, and that's why we're going to see plenty of rain and also those strong wind areas of NorCal where we're getting close to that 10 inch mark in areas like Redding as we head into this is by Saturday late afternoon. Uh, we don't see too much yet because ours isn't going to start until we head into about late Saturday. So we'll talk about our totals in just a moment. And just to give you another view here and just how big this low pressure is. This is affecting Canada. It's affecting Oregon, Washington, Northern California. And eventually we're going to get some of that down here as well. As we head into your Saturday at some point, we're still iffy on the timing because it's still a ways out. And there's quite a few factors going on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday might still have some leftover showers. We're expecting the most rain to be sometime between Saturday and Monday. As we get into your Thursday, that's nice. Upper 70s, a little cooler Friday, and then we really start to see that shift and change heading into the weekend. No. So, but it will be at higher elevations. And then once the temperatures drop a little more Sunday and Monday, we can probably start to talk. Today's about still 66. We're getting to some low 70s by Friday. Now we're going to cool off there too and see some rain as we get into this weekend. Les, I'll send it back to you. Thank you very much.